Defense being introduced one by one on onto the field. Let's take a listen here as Marcus Epps now just introduced to the crowd. What's going on? How are you? I'm doing good. How you doing? Good, good. Ready to do this? Yep, let's do All it. All right, let's go. Outside of football, what are some of your hobbies? What do you like to do? You know, I like to just chill with the family, do things with the family, play video games. Okay. Which things favorite video like that. game? You know, I really only play sports games, honestly. Oh, play okay. Mad Madden 2K. I used to okay. play FIFA, but you know, I got to get back into that one. And you just hosted your second annual family youth camp. Yep. How was that? It was really good. We had a really good turnout. When I opened up that facility, training facility, was just that was that was big for us is, you know, giving giving back to the community. Yeah, it was a really good turnout. I'm, I'm, I was excited for it yeah. and uh, excited to do it again next year. Okay. What advice do you give to young aspiring athletes, especially at your camp? For me, I would say the biggest thing that I, and in terms of advice that I give is like, you know, there's really no, no secret to it. I feel like it's, I'm really big on work ethic and, you know, it, it's hard work. I mean, there's no secret to it. You got to put that work in every day. And um, also just always believe in yourself and know what, know what you can do and what you need to do to get to where you want to be. I mean, you got to have that, that mental toughness of being able to ignore outside noise or ignore, you know, what anyone else thinks about you and just all that matters is what you think about you and the work you put in, so. How the, the evolution throughout your years, mm. what would you say is the biggest lesson that you've learned? You know, you kind of learn pretty quick um, at this level, how much the mental aspect of the game goes into it. Because, um, mm -hmm. you know, at this, at this level, everybody's talented physically or they wouldn't be here, so. You know, the ones, the guys that I've been around that are like really good players, you, you just kind of see, you know, that mental part of the game and how much it goes into it in terms of fo both football IQ, mental aspect, as well as, you know, confidence, mental aspect. And, you know, mm -hmm. like you said, overcoming that, um, that self-doubt and just going out there and, you know, just cutting it loose like you're playing. Is there anything that you do to stay mentally sharp? Just study, really, in terms of football IQ, making sure that I'm knowing the ins and out of, you know, the defensive scheme, everything the coaches are asking, not only me to do, but everybody else out there. Because I feel like when you know what everybody else is doing, it makes your job a lot easier. Well, thank you so much for writing with us today. Yeah, this was thank great. Thank you for having me. Yeah, Appreciate of that. Of course.